Stay safe on the path you travel. Okay, let's go and discover this train station. Anacostia Crossing. Now, what I remember the last time I played this is basically around this area. I don't know if it triggers when you go into Rivet City. I remember coming out of Rivet City and getting attacked by... Um, Talon Company or whatever they're called. You know, when you're a goody two-shoes, you get attacked. I don't know if I'll get attacked this time. Okay, let's go. Oh, look, it's Mickey version 2. Please, please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. Uh, have this purified water. Me? Yes, yes, you can have it for free. You saved my life. Thank you, stranger. I hate to ask you this, but, but times are hard. Can you spare any more water? Uh, yes. There you go, that'll do. Two bottles is more than enough for a little while. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. God, I love Rivet City. Oh, are they random, are they? Oh, I see. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Oh, Harkness. I'm not going to say anything. I think there's a quest with Harkness, if I remember right. Um, I'm looking for my father. Even though I've not spoken to Colin Moriarty yet. <laughs> And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know. I'm sure you don't know him. He's lived in a vault his whole life. Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep up this smart-ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. Why well, does not matter who he is? Okay. He's disappeared, and I'm trying to find him, that's all. All right, all right. You can go on in. If I hear about any trouble, you're gonna wind up in the river. You get me? All right, all right, you miserable bastard. Let me guess. It's night time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till all the vendors are active. Okay, so I need to search for a home for Brian Wilkes. You must be new. I'm Seagrave. If you've got anything you want to unload, stop by my shop, Rivet City Supply. Um. Thank God I can barely carry all this stuff. <laughs> well, I'm not open just now, but I will be by daybreak. Stop by. Do you know where I can get something to drink? The Weatherly Hotel is a good choice. It's on the upper deck. Okay. See you later. So, I'm just trying to remember where to go to get Thingy adopted. Oh, nice. 30 HP, 3 rads. I'll take that. That's a nice trade-off. They call me sister. Don't ask. Well, you're a man. You know what? Hey, I don't want any trouble. Smart move. What did you want? I've got things to do. So do I. I'm trying to look for someone to take in... Um, what's his name? Brian Wilkes. I can't remember who it was. Shit. Just what this hole needs. Another woman. Either buy me a drink or take your skanky ass somewhere else. 
get your own drinks. Bitch! These guys won't buy me around. Just one, please. <laughs> What's it like living on a giant ship? It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders. And maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Um, not quite yet, Gendrio. What I'll do is I'll probably wait till it's daytime where, where, you know, everyone's up walking about, the vendors are open and stuff. I'm guessing the quest cursor will probably point to the right thing. Don't let me stop you. Yeah, again, when I remember, you know, doing this, I just remember asking around and um, eventually you encounter someone that points you the right way. I'm Brock, the bouncer. I take care of the troublemakers. You aren't going to be a troublemaker, are you? That depends. What makes a troublemaker? Starting fights, mm. breaking stuff, Excuse stealing. Mm. I think I'll keep a close eye on you. What? Okay. You're a new one. I'm Belle Bonnie of the Muddy Rudder. Make it quick. Um, nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order or what? Heard any good stories lately? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. I don't talk bad about folks. Okay. Later. So, we could go to Vera and ask if I can ever find her. This place is like a maze. Oh well, that was a good run. Um, hour and a half without any crashes. Not too bad, not too bad. Right, can anyone remind me what the mod was that someone asked me to get? Not quite yet, Ben, not quite yet. Um, Chasm or something like that? Fuck it, I can't remember. We'll just have to play and remember to quick save. I did get a couple of auto saves there, though, so. Kaz. Oh, yeah, Chasm. See if I can speak to the security I'm on guard. Duty. Make it quick. Um, I'd like to report someone. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. Mm hmm, that'll be a part of a quest, I'm assuming. I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. Hmm. Who's in charge around here? Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. He patrols the whole city. Security bunks down in the tower. Dr. Lee kind of runs everything else. She's in the aft. That's the northeast end of the city. Okay. Bye. Wanna do some buff out? Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. Haha, <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Hmm. You shouldn't tell you that stuff, it'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Um, why are you guys living on a boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Hmm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> What's up, Jinx? What are you gasming about? I still want to do this and then I can finish the Wasteland Survival Guide. Whoa, lady, you don't need to... Jesus, you don't need to shut the door on my face. Yes, ma'am? Hmm. Do the men on this ship give you much trouble? You mean like hitting on me? No. Most of them are polite. Even the ones like Diego that I'd want to flirt with seem to ignore oh, me. Oh, God. Oh, God, the Diego storyline. Oh, no. 
I'm gonna come back to this. Again, I don't want too many quests. Bye. What I'm gonna do... Let me get out of here. I'm gonna wait. Right, it's currently 127, so if we wait around 8 hours, I think I should be fine. Everyone should be up and about and stuff. Okay. See, this quest marker, hold on a second. Find a home from Brian Wilkes. Again, it's on, or it's it's in Rivet City. Oh, it's pointing to Grey Ditch because, I see, I see. I've got to go back and get him. I've got to go back and get him. I'm on duty, make it quick. Do you know that Paul Cantelli is an addict? Yeah, he's totally strung out. It's going to kill him one of these days. Okay. See you later, alligator. Bye. Okay, let's ask around. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Okay. Man, I love guns. Nothing's better than a kick of a forty-four. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. Is there anywhere I can get a drink? That's going to be next door in the bar. I'm thinking of buying some ordnance. What you looking for? Okay, let's see if I can get rid of any of this junk. Um, Smoke weed every day. Gendry, thank you for the follow, buddy. I'm going to get rid of the mini gun ammo because I'm not going to use this. So, and the BBs, and the flame of fuel. Okay, what's he got? I'm gonna be needing. Uh, shall I? I'm just thinking. Shall I hold on to the Chinese assault rifle and just stick to one type of ammo? It could be double-edged sword because when they do sell ammo, they don't actually have much of it. These vendors. So, yeah. Oh, I think I might just have hit the jackpot here. Nice. Okay, ten mil submachine gun. Nice. We are getting places. Of course I'm still going duck farts. I'm just about going. So many crashes today, it's honestly unbelievable. Let's get rid of the flamer, the knife, the mini guns. So on off shotguns, the switch blades. I'll keep this hunting rifle for repairs. Chinese pistols can go. That can go. Okay, what else has he got? Okay, that'll do. Thanks. Is there any way I can get a drink on this tub? Try the muddy rudder. They don't ask too many questions down on the lower deck. The shotgun is nice, but it's I've not got the repair high enough yet. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what his repair oh god, his repair skill is shocking. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. Yes, that's right. And yes, smokeless. Look how many chems this guy has. Unbelievable. Have a seat. Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes. Although the iguana is very popular too. Hmm, I'm partial to my lurk cakes myself. Then you are in for a treat. <laughs> I like it how we go straight into business. You know, we're just talking about food, now we're talking about his daughter having a crush. Um, did you know that Paulie Cantelli is an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. Okay. 
I'm hungry. Here is our menu, ma'am. Hmm. Nice, he has some stim packs. Uh, and then, do I need some more right away? Shit, he doesn't have any. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Bot on the desert and they're up before the sun. Yes? Don't tell me your problems. Don't tell wow, Brock, you antisocial prig. Um... Okay, I think all the vendors are starting to come out of here. Hold Let on a second, let's have a chat. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Hmm. I see you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Hmm. So you're on the city council. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Ooh. It's really none of my bi- Actually, no. Seagrave? Oh yeah, he's clueless. Let's pretend we, we know what we're talking about. So you've met him, eh? Well, he wants to replace me on the council. <laughs> now, I can't have that. No siree. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. If someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Hmm, Bannon's request. I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point, I like that. He's not gonna have, well, he's only got a tire, hasn't he? He's got some stim packs. Let's just go and buy four more stim packs and that'll do me. Another satisfied customer. I'll see what I can do. Oh my god, they all have such low repair skill. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be. Okay, I'm done with this guy for Come the time being. Right, let's just have a quick look at his note. Candace, it's Ralph. Tell Dad there's no way in hell I'm spending nuclear Armageddon trapped with him in a... Hmm. No, you see anything out of your... Take a look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Bannon tells me you're trying to steal his council seat. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. Wow, okay. See, I don't know because I've not played this game in ages. I don't know whose side to take, who's the good one. So I'm going to leave this for the time being. I've got a little bit of everything. I've not yet. No, I found the fifth one. But again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the little kid from Greyditch. I've been saying his name all night and I forgot it now. The little kid from Greyditch at home. Basically, I'm trying to get him adopted because no one else wants him. <laughs> so I've had to come to... Uh, I've had to come to um, Rivet City, you know, for it. Give me a shout if you need anything else. See you later. Up to mine. We better get down See, Greg, got anything new in that and flea market of yours? <laughs> Nothing you'd be interested in. Only good stuff. If God intended, we should go to mine. <clears throat> put it so far away? Good yeah, I know she was drinking really water. The ship. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, God, Tammy. Oh, God, I remember this bitch. Oh, really? My husband ran off and got himself killed, and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. Hey. Okay, the kid's only here. What do you want? Jesus Christ. So where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Alive tomorrow. What's your problem, lady? Fuck. I met your mother. No wonder you're such a brat. What did you say about my mother? You, you take that back! Ooh, that hurt. Do us all a favor and just run away from home. 
Oh my god. Hold on. Hey, I didn't mean to upset you. Go jump off the flight deck, asshole. Wow. I remember Tammy, but I don't remember this kid. What a bunch of dicks. Jesus Christ. Hey, Wayne, how you doing, bud? That's secure for a reason. Welcome to the Weatherly, Mr. Buckingham, at your service. What is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. Hmm. See, this is bad. I know he's a robot, but I still don't want to say this. I just want to ask who's your owner. I don't need to call him a rust bucket. Jesus. I serve Miss Vera Weatherly, proprietor of the Weatherly Hotel. Not that it's any of your business. Okay, how much for a room? Oh, the mere 120 caps. No chance. Very good, madam. What do you have to eat? Please, place your order. Okay, does he have stim packs? He doesn't have anything I need. Yes, ma'am. Okay, where is Vera? She's probably walking around somewhere, seeing as it's uh, daytime. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother. What the hell's sister doing here all of a sudden? So do I. Just have the little fucker in the face. Wow. Uh, marketplace with a hotel, science lab, River City Clinic. So what's down here then? God, man, I don't remember where to go in this place. I think this is just accommodation. Bridge Tower, Capital Preservation Society, the Muddy Rudder. So that's basically where I've just come from. River City Clinic. I'm basically looking for Vera. I think Vera is the woman I need to speak to to take that kid in. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Um, this place looks pretty easy to rob. You have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. Now, if you've got any medical issues, let's hear them. Hmm. Can you cure STDs? I don't see anything wrong with you. Hmm. I need medical supplies. Sure thing. Here's what I have. If he has Radaway, which he does, I will buy some. Let me just see how many. Uh, let's buy two. There we go. Hmm. 308 color, but that's for the Chinese pistol. I think I can get rid of those. Okay. A pleasure doing business with you. Take care of yourself. You couldn't get on with this game. Why is that, Wayne? Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. What makes you do the things you do? Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, um, Gendrio, if you're still there, if you can just give us a little hint. Again, I think I need to talk to Vera, the owner of the hotel, if I remember right. I have no idea where she is. She might be in her room, but I don't think so. In fact, you know what? I need to save because I've not crashed in a while. There we go. I'm on. Yeah, okay. I'm on the right track. Um. 
the only other place I can think of going to find Vera if she isn't in her room, which again is locked, I can't go in there without getting bad karma and getting molested. She might be upstairs or she might be in the historical society or whatever the thing's called down here. Yeah, preservation society. Excellent. It's a good thing I saved. Unfucking believable. <coughs> oh, did anyone hear my back crack then? Damn. Okay, there we go. Yeah, find a home from Brian Wilkes. That's Diego, we don't want to talk to him. What about Father Clifford? I am Father Clifford. This is St. Monica's Church. Hmm, who is this St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. I wonder if he'll be able to help me. You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Okay. I mean, if, if he's taking kids under his wing, I mean, we all know what's currently happening with the Catholic Church. But, uh, yeah, I'm willing to give a small donation. You would? I mean, certainly. We humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, St. Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. What a scumbag. I can only spare 10 caps. Actually, hold on a sec. Caps? Oh, I thought I could give you some items. A kind thought. But we don't need your cast-off belongings. Wow, what a bastard. I'll give him 10 caps. I might give him 100 if I feel generous, if I actually ever have 100 caps spare. You would? Every cap is needed. God bless you. Paying for karma. <laughs> Saint Monica bless you. What are you sorry about, Tom Teller? What's up? Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Hmm. Ah, a fellow...